So we are okay for the uh, vote. We can start. Fine. So we start with amendment one, two, uh, seven. Who is in favor? Who is against? Abstention rejected. Compromise amendment five. Who is in favor? Against? Abstention adopted. Who is against? Abstention adopted. Who is in favor? Against? Abstention adopted. Against? Abstention adopted. Against? Abstention rejected. Amendment 1187. It's clear for everybody. Who is in favor? Against? Abstention rejected. 1428. And we move to the final vote by a roll call vote. So the vote is open. The vote is closed. And it is adopted. Congrats. Congrats to the negotiating team and to the rapporteur. It was not an easy one. It's part of the overall uh, ambition uh, for a zero pollution society in Europe. So it was expected. Uh, maybe the, the scale of ambition of the Commission proposal uh, was a bit surprising for part of the industries, but most especially for the agricultural and farming communities. The main changes are certainly coming in the industrial part, I would say the far, by far more important part of the directive, not so publicly sensitive as the agricultural part, not so uh, politically difficult, uh, but very important because uh, there is a significant ambition to reduce polluting emissions, toxic pollution, and here we have the agreement between the political groups that we support this ambition. Uh, what we change uh, is a bit longer transitional period, more breathing space for, for industry uh, to adapt, uh, more flexibility, especially for the emerging and innovating te techniques, and uh, much less bureaucracy than we saw in the Commission proposal.